What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you five proven products for February, 2022. When I say proven products, I mean in the sense that these products have been advertised on Facebook and done incredibly well. And to prove this to you, I'm actually gonna show you the Facebook ads themselves. Not only that, I'm gonna give you all the information you need to head out and start selling these products today. So I'm gonna be covering things like the profit margins and recommended selling prices. I'm also gonna be showing you some competitors that are selling these products so you can use them as inspiration when you start importing and selling these products yourselves. I will be showing you where you can source these products in my recommended suppliers. And also last but not least, I'm gonna be showing you the Facebook ad interests that I recommend targeting. Before we jump into it though, I just wanna very quickly say, when you're doing your product research, try not to always focus on the big four countries, which is typically the USA, the UK, Australia and Canada, try and look further afield. Some of the best products I've ever found have been doing really, really well in France or really, really well in Germany or some European country, or even been doing really, really well in the US. But if you do your research and dig a bit deeper and find out that these products that are doing really, really well in one country might not necessarily be advertised in another country. And that in itself leads to a potential opportunity to bring that product to a different country. And to find this information out there's a couple of different ways you can do it so number one is you can use google trends to see how popular that search term is in specific countries and number two depending on which product research tool you're using it will actually tell you where the interest where the engagement where the traffic is coming from and so with that being said guys thanks for tuning in i hope you guys enjoy it um, don't forget to like the video if you want to see more videos like this any questions about anything at all um, let me know in the comment section below i read every single one so i will get back to you and of course if you want to see more of my content i do upload two videos every single week um, please make sure you subscribe thanks again and let's jump straight into it okay so product number one is this custom animal light there's a few reasons why i really like this product um, number one it's a relatively new product it took me ages to try and find this on aliexpress so what this tells me is that there's not many people that have found this product not many people advertising this product and if you can be one of the very first people to bring a product to facebook so that the first time they see your facebook ad is the first time they've seen that product that makes a significant difference to how successful you can be reason number two is it is a customized product the customer can obviously put on somebody's name um, in this instance for this product it's obviously going to be a child's name so this is a good excuse for the drop shipping delivery times typically it's going to take somewhere between sort of one and two weeks but if it's a customized product then people are much more expective to wait that sort of time frame for delivery if it's a custom product the next reason why i love this product is because it suits the perfect demographic on facebook facebook's average demographic is getting older and older and the older people get the more likely they are to number one have kids of their own or number two become grandparents and know of a grandchild or have a grandchild or even a daughter in which they would think about or consider or pop in their mind the second they see this product. And so with that being said, then let's take a look at the Facebook ad. So this is the one in question. We can see it's super, super simple. If you wanted to start selling this product yourself, you could probably get everything set up, ready to go in less than an hour because there's no custom video. There's no user generated content. It's literally a still image of different designs with the names on. Often simple is what works best. And this is a great example of this. If we take a look at it, it's just a still image. There's no call to action in the primary text, the description at the top. It's simply just too cute. Kids love it with a heart emoji. They will adore lighting up his or her broom um, with this unicorn personalized LED sign. That's it. Um, very simple. It could be improved. If they included a CTA in the description at the top, that would definitely increase the amount of people who click it. We can see just how successful this ad is though. 3.8 thousand engagements, 1.6 thousand comments and over a thousand shares. These guys are making a lot of money with this product. If we have a look at the comments too, I always like to filter by newest so we can see just how current this product is. We can see people are still commenting it on today with the latest comment just two hours ago. So let's take a look at the business that's selling these products. And believe it or not, this is the actual link that the Facebook ad is directing people to. Now, usually I wouldn't recommend it. Usually I'd recommend a normal practice of diverting people. The landing page, the first page people go to is the actual product page, but these guys are actually sending people to a collection page. And I believe the reason for this probably would be just because of the sheer 
amount of variance. As we can see, they've got four different pages of different designs. If they were to try and put all of these variants onto one product page, it would look quite unsightly, very unprofessional, quite amateurish, which would harm um, how successful they would sell this product. Another thing that strikes me about this business is that it's not a niche store, not really. It sells a variety of different products. So it just goes to show that whether you're running a niche store, a general store, one product store, three product store, Whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. As long as you do the fundamentals correctly, you look trustworthy, and of course you have a great product that people want to buy. If you ask me, this product page is actually very, very basic. Um, if we check out our Shopify inspector, I believe to me this looks like the debut theme, which it is, so it's a free theme. Just goes to show you haven't got to pay for a paid theme, but I definitely think if these guys invested in a better theme and displayed a dynamic checkout button and built out the product description, it would help improve their results. But they're obviously selling it successfully just the way they are. So in some ways, if it's not broken, you don't need to fix it. Without even checking, there is actually one telltale sign that this is a dropshipping business. If we take a look at the announcement bar, we can see we do not deliver due to our vacation. However, you can still place the order after 7th of Feb, we will process all orders. If you didn't know, it's Chinese New Year and nothing will be getting sent out um, until after the 6th. So to summarize this product, it's a great product. It's being sold in a very kind of simple but basic way. There's definitely room for improvement here, which potentially could lead to even greater results. If we take a look at the profit margins for this product, so the cost from your supplier is $15 delivered. I would recommend a retail price of in and around $35, which would leave a profit margin of 20. In terms of the Facebook ad interests, there's a couple of ways I would go about doing this. Number one, you could have kind of generic interests like LED lamp, um, different kind of baby brands or toddler brands like Johnson's Baby, Toys, Nightlight, things like that. But then I would actually cross this with um, parents with and then children of certain ages. That way you're gonna make sure that you're targeting people who have kids who would have an interest in a product like this one. And so with that being said, that's product number one. If you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure you hit that like button and let's jump straight into product number two. Okay, so moving on to product number two, we have a new pet water bottle. So it's no secret I used to sell kind of like a different model to this um, last summer. However, I did recently come across this one. It's doing really, really well on Facebook. So let's take a look at that now. So this is the Facebook ad itself. It's essentially a bottle you fill full of water and you squeeze it so the water pops up through the top and it has like a non-return valve in it so no water gets wasted um, you can keep refilling it and obviously you can take it out with you on dog walks um, if we take a look at the actual engagements themselves we can see 13,000 engagements over 2,000 comments and over 4,000 shares the ad itself is super simple it wouldn't cost very much money or take up very much time to find or source or create an ad like this yourself so it's very accessible and it'd be very quick to implement and start selling on your own stores again in the description at the top they've kept it very simple and to the point with a call to action link into their product page which we'll take a look at in a second let's take a look at the comments one thing we're looking for again is evidence of proven products that guarantee to sell that way we know if we're going to invest our time energy um, and business into a product we want to make sure basically we have the highest chances of success and comments are a great way to do this so we can see diane has said that she has one it's perfect for when we are out in the kayak so my body has an easy way to drink Jen says, this is a truly great product. My dog uses this on our road trips. Um, Joanne Peterson says, our dog just used this for the first time. It was great. So we can see people are loving this product. It definitely serves a purpose and makes somebody's life easier. And therefore more people are gonna be attracted to it. Let's take a look at the supplier found on AliExpress then. We can see it actually comes with a video itself. It's very basic, to be honest. The best videos you can use are videos of the actual products being used by the end user. So I definitely recommend um, if you have your own dog, film on your own content or actually reaching out to some influencers. We can see that the cost of the product is $10. I definitely think you could negotiate this a bit cheaper. Um, looking at the images too, there's actually some pretty good images, but what I always recommend is any images you take from AliExpress, just try and put your own spin on them, whether it be kind of deleting the background of this one and putting your own colors and logo um, in the background just to make it a bit more original, a bit more branded. Um, and a bit more unique. And to illustrate one way of doing this, um, the guys that are running this Facebook ad that have had this success are a great example. We can see they haven't just taken a simple white background image 
well they could have taken the simple white background image but they put their own spin on it and put their own colors and kind of theme in the background this is a custom image would be which would be super super easy to put together but it makes all the difference and makes them look super professional if we scroll down as well and looking at their product description we can see that they've implemented some form of a custom web page design it looks super professional super sleek super original and obviously it does a great job as for profit margins the cost of the product which we just saw was ten dollars 69 i would recommend selling this product for 24.95 which would leave a profit margin of 14 dollars 26 which to be honest is slightly on the low side but you could definitely bundle this or pair this or have a really great upsell offer to boost up those profit margins as for the facebook ad interests obviously products like this is based around people who own dogs and take their dogs out for walks i'm quite adventurous so my recommended go-to's would be dog walking dog training dog food and dog different dog magazines as for the google trend information if we take a look at worldwide for the past five years we can see that it's kind of popular ish or at least at this current moment in time it's more popular than it ever has been um, in the last sort of five years apart from the last few months however the reason for this and going back to what i said in the introduction could be just because there's different countries looking for this that aren't currently served on facebook and this is where google trends comes in so we can see that the uk is popular for this the us australia ireland canada the list goes on and on and on and it gives you perfect places to test on facebook put it out to all of those different places see which comes back with the most interest and then re-optimize and re-go and focus and double down basically on what works if we take a look at this product on dropper spy which is where i found this product we can see the last seen date was indeed today so it's still current it's still active so if you want a product that's going to sell really well today i definitely recommend um, considering this one if we scroll down though what's awesome is they give us the different countries so we can see that this one has been predominantly sold in the united states of america with only 2.9 percent coming from the uk but if we cross check this against google trends we can see that the uk is actually more popular in terms in terms of the search volume in the uk so there definitely could be an opportunity there um, to drop ship it over here moving on to product number two which is one of my favorite products i've found kind of like in the last few months is definitely this hand warmer slash massager again it's a great product that is just perfectly suited for the average demographic on facebook as i mentioned earlier on in the video the average user on facebook is getting older and older and as people get older they tend to develop different health conditions such as arthritis and things like that and this product has been built to help serve those people it literally solves a real pain point for people it's done super super well on facebook if we take a look at the ad we can see the strategy they've used is super effective i love this strategy so straight away they've gone in there with five star emojis to capture attention and then straight into a quotation from what looks like an existing customer in this quotation the key is they have the buzzwords which are going to attract the attention and force the person to stop reading so my daughter bought me one it helps me so much i have arthritis so that's the buzzword in that top line anybody who has arthritis or knows somebody who suffers from arthritis is all of a sudden instantly going to be interested in this product if we watch through the video we can see it's very simple it's very basic it's user generated content It's simply showing somebody using the product with again different buzzwords different keywords different benefits popping up in bold highlighted to really kind of lock in or make the customer realize exactly what this product does again if we take a look at the comments and let's go for um, let's go for newest we can see that one day ago somebody commented 20 hours ago somebody commented so it's still a current active product somebody is advertising and making money from if we take a look at that person and have a look at their website it's quite a nice website it's one product store that they've built and branded around this product all of their images are super sleek with a white background so they've removed the background they've actually got a gif in one of the product images too so it just kind of all fits in with that branding um, of the handmassager.com the color schemes i've used too with the turquoise green is naturally associated with that kind of cleanliness and hygienicness hygienicness 
or hygiene if you go to a dentist they're typically or look at dentist logos they're typically in like a green color what these guys have also done is they've kind of name dropped some big names which people will know if you have household names on your website it will instantly make people trust you a bit more so i'm not sure if this product has been seen in women's health gq men's health people cbs so on and so forth but the fact they've got those logos on there helps kind of legitimize the product another bonus to this product is that regardless of where you are watching this video from now you will be able to find a supplier that can offer decent quick shipping to your customers so we can see with this particular supplier and there's many by the way this is one of the first ones i found is that you can get it from china us czech republic australia spain and france and i believe it is spain um, that's really quick for shipping to the UK if you're watching this in the UK. As for buying and selling prices and profit margins for this product, it's a high ticket product. I would consider it a high ticket product, which leaves a very healthy profit margin, which is great. As we saw, we can buy the products for $47.29. As we also saw our main competitor who is doing really, really well. So there's, it's proven to sell at this price. They're selling it for $100, which leaves us a very healthy profit margin of $52.66. We could afford to pay Facebook $40 per customer and still make over $10 per sale. As for the Facebook ad interests I recommend targeting for this product, I would start with things like massage, relaxation, those sorts of people looking for things naturally for those kind of natural pain reliefs, um, spa, health and wellness, health and wellness, sorry, personal care, and of course, quality of life. Moving on to product number four, and it wouldn't be right to have a February products video without mentioning Valentine's Day. So here is one for all those people who want to try and capitalize on one of the biggest days or occasions of the year, which is of course Valentine's Day. So this is a 24 karat gold, or supposedly it's advertised at that, a sparkling rose. And this one has been absolutely smashing it on Facebook. So let's take a look at the Facebook ad now. Again, so this is a very simple yet effective Facebook ad. It's just an image. You could have this on your store and be advertising it in the space of an hour or two, um, minus the review time of your ads. Obviously, sometimes that can take a few hours, but basically it's just an image with a quote at the bottom which looks like it's taken from twitter if someone gave me this rose on valentine's day i'd just start crying this is a really popular strategy that i've seen more and more people using in their facebook ads it's a very simple product but it's very kind of visually appealing which is why it does so well on a social media platform because it allows people to share it quite effectively which we can see this one has over a thousand shares over a thousand comments and a hundred and twenty seven thousand reactions which is just absolutely crazy essentially all it is is a fake rose inside a glass kind of dome or tube that has led fairy lights surrounded um kind of like wrapped up in led fairly light so when you turn it on in the dark as you can see it creates quite a nice effect what's really great about this product which i'll be showing you in a second when i show you the supplier is that it's not just a one hit wonder there's many different variations which apply throughout the year so if we take a look at the comments we can see somebody's actually posted an image this sort of stuff is absolute marketing gold if you can get somebody your customers to go back onto the post and post an image with a positive review like this, you will see an instant difference. I will guarantee you'll see an instant difference to the uptake um, in your Facebook ads. So my mum bought me this one for Christmas and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. The Enchanted Rose is gorgeous. I made one a couple of years ago, definitely a good gift. I bought one for my daughter. My hubby got me one for Xmas. I got one for Christmas. So everybody is buying this product. Let's take a look at the supply. Then we can see they've had over 3000 orders, loads and loads of different variations. You get roses. I think this might just be the rose listing, but there are ones that have the smaller ones here, which you can sell for cheaper, but this same supplier, um, the Eternals Flowers Gift Store, sells Christmas trees and other things for different occasions throughout the year. As for the profit margins, we just saw the average purchase price, depending on the size that you buy, is $11.88. I would recommend selling a product like this for in and around $40, which leaves you with a very healthy profit margin of $28. If we take a look at our main competitor, which is Sparkly Roses, we can see they're selling it for £30, which if I'm not mistaken is in and around sort of $40. Um, I'm not a big fan of this website, to be honest, I think it's just a bit too kind of dark and I don't know, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's obviously working. It's obviously effective. So who am I to judge it? One thing worth pointing out on this store is the fact that they have highlighted free shipping six to 10 days to the UK fast and insured four to eight, 10 
four to eight days to the UK for six ninety nine. So these guys definitely have some form of an agent or fulfillment warehouse. They've tried and tested this product. It obviously works. So they've taken the next step of actually holding stock or keeping stock at least local. What's also worth showing you is the amount of reviews over a hundred reviews. They're all five star, but it obviously seems to be working. Typically, I don't like to see all five star reviews because to me it looks a bit bit off. But it's such a cool product. There's so many reviews, and it's obviously working well for them. If we take a look at the images, it's pretty enchanting. It looks pretty amazing. Anybody scrolling down and seeing all of these together would just be completely persuaded to buy one. To finish this product off then, my recommended Facebook ad interests, if you're gonna be focusing obviously solely on Valentine's Day, trying to capitalize as much as possible, would be Happy Valentine's Day. That is an interest you can target. I would target people who are also in a relationship. Um, there's not going to be many people buying this for themselves, but you never know. I would target love. I would target gift. I would target people who are engaged, married, and people who have an anniversary coming up. Moving on to the fifth and final product, and definitely one of my favorites, is this pet portrait. I know at least three different people that have one of these and bought one off Facebook, and my brother actually got me one for Christmas. It's such a cool product, and I'm going to show you why. So let's take a look at the Facebook ad. Nobody loves a picture of a cute dog more than a picture of a picture of a cute dog, which is exactly what this ad is. So it's a carousel ad of different really cute dogs. These would have been handpicked for a reason, um, sat next to the actual portrait of them. So it's just such a cool product and yet so effective. And this is reflected in the amount of engagements. So we can see 35,000 reactions, 1.4 thousand comments and over 400 shares what is so brilliant about this is that people love to share images or videos of their dogs when people get this in the post it will be up in their wall in their house they'll be showing their neighbors they'll be showing their friends they'll be showing their family and the first question people are going to ask them is where did you get that from and just to highlight the importance of this if we have a flick through the comments we can see that straight away the amount of people who are posting the actual result of the product. People want to share pictures of their dog, which is brilliant marketing for you. So love my picture, I love mine, 10 out of 10 recommended. Lovely how they accommodated for my Lola. She never would look at the camera, but had a great profile. If we take a look at the website then, they're selling these and making some very decent money, I think so. Um, their, their, their website, to put it bluntly, is pretty, boring it's pretty simple i don't really like the orange against the white background to be honest i think it's kind of difficult to read if it's not broken then you don't need to fix it to build a store like this would be super simple and super quick to do what's really great about this product as well is there's so many upsells that are kind of built into it so at initial glance you might think 30 dollars that's pretty cheap i'm definitely going to go ahead and then you always 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 want that little bit more so you might think i'll go middle of the road which straight away goes to 50 dollars and then you might think I'm gonna go for a coral pink background. That's fine, still at $50, but then you might think actually it looks really good in a frame. So I'm gonna go for a black frame and then all of a sudden it bumps up to $90. So let's take a look at the profit margins for this product. It's actually products I've considered doing myself with a natural interest in dogs. If you haven't noticed already, my German Shepherd Enzo sat behind me um, on the sofa in the office. So. The cost is in and around $30. This is obviously going to depend on who your designer is and who your print on demand supplier is. But as a rough kind of general guidelines, you're looking at about $30 per product fulfilled with a frame. We saw that these guys are able to successfully sell it for $90. However, I would recommend selling it for slightly cheaper than this because I think $90 might put a few people off. And plus selling it at $60, you're still making a very handsome profit margin of around $30. My recommended interests for targeting on Facebook would be dog walking, dog collar, dog behavior, dog grooming, dog food, dog health, dog park, basically all those kind of interests which are in and around and related to dog owners. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up. If you're still watching, I appreciate you so much. It means a lot. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. So thank you very much. Um, if you're looking for somebody to hold your hand through the whole building kind of business journey and you want somebody who can take you from day one from scratch and in 
the space of 60 days, have a fully fledged functioning business, which is bringing in consistent sales every single day. I do have a mentorship program. It's called the Ecom Accelerator, where me and you can work one-on-one. -on -one. We'll talk once a week on a Zoom call, and in between, you will actually get my personal phone number so we can talk daily via WhatsApp. So if that's the sort of thing that would be of interest to you and you'd like to accelerate your progress towards achieving your goals, make sure you comment the word accelerator in the comments down below. I'll reach out, I'll send you the information and we can go from there. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.